Good morning, everyone. So today we are going to learn about complete denture. So we will be learning complete denture in different different sets. So the first set will be part one, which we are going to learn. Let's see what all we are we going to learn. So we will learn about the definition of complete denture and also the surfaces of complete denture and parts of complete denture. That gives a basic idea about how a complete denture looks like. So to move on with the definition, what do you mean by complete denture? It is a removable dental prosthesis which replaces the entire dentition and which is associated with structures of maxilla or the mandible. This is the definition which is given from GPT-8. Okay, so we all know complete denture means it replaces the entire tooth set, isn't it? So it is a removable dental prosthesis that can replace the entire dentition and also some of the structures which are associated with maxilla and mandible like the uh, flange areas you know those all are the set, uh, those all are the things of that of the maxilla as well as the mandible so it even replaces some of the structures of maxilla and mandible then we need to know what is meant by complete denture prosthodontic Okay, so we know, now we learned about complete denture and what is complete denture prosthodontics. It's also GPT-8 definition. It means the body, that body of knowledge and skills pertaining to the restoration of the edentulous arch with a removable dental process. So prosthodontics means, it means a branch of dentistry which deals with the learning about the skills and knowledge about how we can replace a complete edentulous arch with the teeth okay that over an artificial teeth set that is called as complete denture prosthodontics now let's move on to the surfaces of complete denture so there are many different surfaces for a complete denture the first surface we see is the impression surface or the intact glio surface so what does it mean it is that portion of the complete denture Okay, that has the contour determined by the impression. You can see here, okay, see this cursor. This is also given by GPT-8 definition. This is the area where the uh, impression, when we take the impression, the tissue surface, right? After pouring and after getting the complete denture, this area will represent the rich surface. If there are any bumps or if there are any, you know, small, small spicules or whatever it is, it will be recorded on this surface and it is just the photocopy you can see okay next we have the occlusal surface as you all know it will be the portion of the surface of the denture or a dentition which makes contact or near contact with the corresponding surface of the opposing denture or the dentition so occlusal surface means the teeth areas right now this will occlude with the opposing teeth that is with the corresponding surface of the opposing denture dentition Next, we have the polished or the cameo surface. It is that portion of the surface of the denture that extends in the, you can see from here, so this area, this pink portion, right, extends in the occlusal, which extends from the occlusal direction from the border of the denture, includes the palatal surface also. Okay, if you can take, uh, these are the, like in maxilla, you can see here, complete will be covered with an acrylic. So that area is also included in the polished surface. Now, it is that part of the denture base that is usually polished and it includes the buccal and the lingual surface of the teeth. Other than the teeth area, the, all the other surfaces are called as the polished surface or the cameo surface. Now, polished surface was given, the term was determined, uh, given by Fish in 1948. Now, moving on to the last, which is the parts of a complete denture. Now there are different parts. You can see there is a denture base, there is a dental denture flange area, there is a denture border, and there is a denture teeth. So there basically there is base, flange, border, and teeth. Now we will learn separately all. First, we are going to learn about the denture base. Now, what do you mean by denture base? The part of a denture which rests on the foundation tissue and to which teeth are being attached. So it's pretty simple, right? Uh, you can see it forms the foundation of the denture. Now, denture base means what? To which now we saw that pink color, right? To which the tooth were attached. That is called as the denture base. Now, it will form the foundation and forces applied to the denture will be distributed and it will be transmitted to the basal seat area through this denture base. 
simple understood like when we are giving force the teeth will take up the force when we bite and that will be distributed to the denture base to the C, basal seat area so that by the, thereby they will you know distribute the or they will be compensated like it won't be concentrated on the ridge surface itself when you bite on the teeth it's on the ridge right but since there is a denture base the force will be equally distributed around adequate extension of the denture base helps in providing retention and support you can uh, just give an attention to this denture base provides retention and support denture base will provide adequate retention and support okay now we have types of denture base there are different types of denture base now this is called as the denture base now first one is the acrylic type okay this is an acrylic base right so it provides good aesthetics obviously you feel like it's like your palette itself now this can be easily rebased or relined in future now when there is wear and tear or you know continuous usage it gets you know you know our tissues also will get um, somewhat it will be not in a good state like how it was previously or how it was in the initial stages some changes will be age related changes can occur at that moment we can even rebase this acrylic if it is acrylic now it cannot be used in thin sections like a metal or dendritic since it is an acrylic it requires some um, thickness okay it requires thickness but in case of metals as such metal is such you know it's very strong so there is no need for any like you know you need a bulk metal there is nothing like that but for acrylic you need it in bulk so that can be said as a disadvantage and one more disadvantage you can say it does not transmit any heat so there are good two uh, advantages that is it's good aesthetics it provide good aesthetics it can be rebased or relined but the disadvantage is that you cannot use in thin section so maybe the patient might feel difficulty in speaking or like that some you know patient might because of the bulk which is present on the palatal area then it does not transmit any heat patient won't understand how much heat they are being having when they are having consuming food the next one you can see here as such it is a metal based denture base now metal obviously is a good conductor of heat so it is having an improved thermal conductivity and that can give a good sensory interpretation for the patient they are even strong in thin sections that is the advantage of a metal but a disadvantage you can say it requires more time for fabrication and also it require refractory cast materials which are difficult to fabricate so these are some of the disadvantages of a metal denture base now the next part we are going to see is the denture flange area so what is flange basically it is the part of denture base which extends from the cervical ends of the teeth to the denture border that is gpt8 definition you can see from the cervical end they they uh, extend towards the denture border we saw right we have a uh, different types of flange areas we will learn it now it provides peripheral seal and horizontal stability you can uh, take this point to home that is it provides peripheral seal denture flange area it provides a peripheral seal and also it will have a horizontal stability it provides a horizontal stability i'm sorry okay it provides horizontal stability next it is classified according to the vestibule where it extends so we we have labial buccal and lingual we'll see each okay now labial flange area you can see labial flange area is this one this portion is the labial flange area the portion of the flange of a denture that occupies the labial vestibule of the teeth this is maxillary uh, labial flange area and this is the mandibular so here you can see a notch okay i'll just show you here you can see one notch see this one this is for the labial frena which is present on our maxillar maxilla okay so that notch is very essential otherwise there will be dislodgement of the denture and also you will give undue pressure if we are not giving that notch so that is the labial flange then you have the buccal flange area that is this portion okay towards the molar areas the portion of the flange of a denture that occupies the buccal vestibule of the teeth here also we have to give space for many uh, muscles that we will learn when we learn about the anatomical landmarks even here also in the lower denture also labial flange area we have to consider the muscles also then we have the lingual flange area that is for the mandible okay the portion of flange of a mandibular denture that occupies the alveolo lingual sulcus that is also gpt8 definition so this all we will learn you know in detail in the uh, in the next parts which are coming of this chapter itself
okay we have anatomical landmarks over there we need to learn about the albuminal nickel sulcus and everything we will discuss in that in detail in that chapters in subsequent the next we have the denture border so the margin of the denture base at the junction of the polished surface and the impression surface okay you can understand right where it is polished where it is polished and as well as the impression surface now it is responsible for maintaining the peripheral seal obviously because that is towards it that border is touching the tissue now it should be smooth and polished or else what happens since it is touching the tissue we may get hurt from it overextended denture borders can cause ulcers and hypoplasia like eculus fissurata okay some uh, that is overgrowth of the tissue due to a chronic irritation so over extended denture borders may can can cause ulcers unextended borders will result in loss of peripheral seal and compromise retention if it is overextended it will lead to ulcers or hypoplasia and if it's underextended there will be no peripheral seal and what happens when the patient lifts his tongue or when he does any movements from functional movements the danger will get less lodged yeah now we can see this is the danger border this is for the ma uh, mandible yeah see, can, can you see this can you appreciate it this is the polished surface and this is the impression surface so this danger border means it is the junction of the polished surface and the intaglio surface or the impression surface and this is for the maxilla okay maxillary denture border you can see this now we have the denture teeth now function of denture teeth what will be it's obvious right it's to improve the aesthetics when we laugh or smile we need a beautiful smile it helps for phonetics and also it helps in mastication important right now based on the material you can classify it as acrylic porcelain interpenetrating polymer network resin tea that is ipn resin you call it as then gold occlusals acrylic resin with amalgam stops this is based upon the materials okay so based on morphology of the teeth also you have anatomic teeth semi anatomic teeth non anatomic teeth cross bite teeth and metal insert teeth so these are different types of uh, denture teeth which are depending upon different materials or morphology each one will be discussing in detail in uh, the subsequent chapters as it comes or we will take it as a separate topic because it has uh, importance okay like uh, it comes like you can have a separate question on it so we will deal like that if i do this in this chapter like then it will be much lengthier so we'll do that in a different separate chapter okay so that's all for the part one topic for complete denture if you need notes if you require notes we'll be providing notes when we upload each videos so you can just dm me on this id dentistry.supereasy easy this will be our logo over there in instagram do follow the page it's just a newly created page uh, nothing has been added but we will add more uh, fun facts from dentistry easy notes mnemonics these all will be created very soon so hope you all understood keep connected thank you